Hi, in this quick video, I'm going to show you the exact steps how to replace the keyboard on ThinkPad X13 Generation 1. This model was in production between 2020 and 2021. If you have watched any of my previous videos related to ThinkPad repairs, you already know the drill. For safety reasons, the very first thing that you should do is to temporarily disable the built-in battery. I purchased this ThinkPad X13 with Windows 11. My plan is to get rid of it and replace it with Ubuntu, but as of the moment, as soon as I turned it on, it boots into Windows without giving me the option to enter BIOS. Because of this, after booting to Windows, I'm going to run the terminal application as administrator, and I'm going to execute uh, the shutdown command with a couple of arguments. Uh, the exact command is available in the description of the video. After restarting the computer, on the boot screen with the Lenovo logo, there is a label saying to interrupt normal startup, hit enter. This is exactly what I did. After that, I've pressed F1 to enter the BIOS setup utility. This is the BIOS with the graphical user interface. From the left menu, I selected config and after that, I've selected power. I scrolled down to the bottom of the power section and clicked on disable built-in battery. As soon as I confirmed, uh, the laptop turned off. Now it is safe to proceed with the hardware repair and modifications. This is a really cool safety feature available on ThinkPads. The second step in the process for replacing the keyboard on ThinkPad X13 is obvious. We have to remove the old keyboard. Carefully and gently remove the left and the right mouse buttons above the touchpad. Once removed, you see the two captive screws below them. Using an appropriate Phillips screwdriver, unscrew them. Beware, these are captive screws, so even after unscrewing them, they will remain on their place. There are clips that are holding the keyboard to the chassis of the laptop. So even after unscrewing the two screws, you have to very gently and carefully first push the keyboard up to release it from the clips and then to lift it up. Definitely, this is the most time consuming and annoying part of the process for replacing the keyboard on Lenovo ThinkPad X13. So take your time and do it very carefully and gently. I have to explicitly mention that this is ThinkPad X13 Generation 1 from 2020. However, I think it's pretty much the same process on ThinkPad X13 Generation 2. Thanks to the magic of video editing, I'll speed up this process in the video. Once the keyboard is completely removed from the chassis of the ThinkPad X13, I can access the two ribbon cables on the back of the keyboard that connect it to the motherboard of the laptop. As you can see in the video, I've very carefully and gently unlocked both connectors and pulled out the ribbon cables. This way, I've completely re released the old keyboard from the laptop. That's it. Say bye-bye to the old keyboard. It's time to add the new keyboard. Here is the new keyboard that I have. It's another keyboard with UK layout, but actually you can pick up other layouts that suits your region and preferences. The process is uh, straightforward and basically we're doing it in reverse order compared to step number two. First, I connected the two ribbon cables on the back of the keyboard. After that, I've rotated the keyboard and gently slide it into the chassis of the Lenovo ThinkPad X13 Generation 1. Be gentle on this step and make sure that all clips of the keyboard fit well into the chassis of the laptop. I think anyone watching the video so far gets it, so I'll slightly fast forward here. Just make sure the keyboard is properly aligned and using a screwdriver fasten the two screws that hold it. One more thing, at the end of the process, just add the plastic caps to the left and the right mouse button above the touchpad. With this, the replacement of the keyboard is completed. To make sure that everything works as expected, I highly recommend you to perform a test. Plug a USB-C power supply. At the beginning of the video, in step one, we've temporarily disabled the building battery of the laptop. However, by plugging a USB-C power supply that is connected uh, to the power grid, the battery will be re-enabled. Now, turn on the computer. Hit enter to interrupt the normal boot again. This time, from the interactive menu, press F10 for the Lenovo firmware diagnostics. 
This is another tremendous feature available on ThinkPads that I really love. The Diagnostics tool allows you to check your hardware no matter what kind of operating system you have because it's going on on low level before booting any operating system. There are so many different tests. The Lenovo Diagnostics 2 allows you to try out any hardware detected on your laptop. However, in the particular case, we are interested only in the keyboard. The test is super simple. I just have to press each key and to observe the visual signal that the key has been detected. Let me summarize what we did. First, I temporarily disabled the built-in battery. After that, I removed the old keyboard from ThinkPad X13 Generation 1 and I added the new one. Finally, I tested the new keyboard. And by the way, the process for replacing the keyboard on X13 Generation 2 is very similar. The repair has been successfully completed. Now this ThinkPad X13 Generation 1 has a new keyboard. If you like this type of content about ThinkPad repairs and better devices, and of course Linux, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I have already recorded videos about other ThinkPad models and I have in mind recording new videos about this X13. Hit the like button and stay tuned for new videos. Hope to see you soon.